Eep Menengate, where every day for more than 85 years, Belgians have gathered to honour the fallen. This 11th of the 11th, the Armistice Service brings military, civilians and dignitaries from the Allied nations and other lands together, shoulder to shoulder in commemoration. And on this poignant day, a second service laden with symbolism. 99 years after the outbreak of the war to end all wars, Earth, gathered from Flanders fields where British and Commonwealth servicemen fell, is being handed over and it will be laid to rest in London. Not everyone can get over to the uh, battlefields in Flanders to pay tribute to their forebears who have uh, died in the Great War. We thought it would be rather nice to actually have a little bit of Belgium in London uh, and to create a, a place of peace and tranquility for them to come and pay their respects. I think it's important. This is the first time soil has been allowed to leave the battlefields of Flanders. A thousand school children from Belgium and Britain collected it. It's in First World War replica sacks made by the same Belgian sandbag firm which supplied the trenches. The same band which visited the trenches near Ypres to entertain the Tommies. The band of the Coldstream Guards played Nimrod and When I Am Laid in Earth to accompany the loading. The Flanders Fields Memorial Gardens to be sited within the household division because its five regiments of foot guards represent the four countries of the United Kingdom. Its two cavalry regiments are a reminder that mounted soldiers joined the infantry to make up the expeditionary force. The Duke of Edinburgh is the senior colonel of the household division and regimental colonel of the first of foot, the Grenadier Guards. And so the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery starts this soil on a journey the millions of men it represents never got to make. From here, the sandbags will be loaded onto a Belgian frigate. It will sail them to London. They'll be cross-decked onto HMS Belfast. And once again, F Company King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery will convey that sombre cargo in a ceremonial procession through the streets of London until they arrive at Wellington Barracks at the end of the month. Julie Knox, Forces News, Ypres.